Listen up. Gmail and Yahoo are changing the rules of email marketing. And if you don't meet these new requirements, then your emails may not reach the inbox. Starting in February 2024, new email authentication and spam prevention policies are going to be coming into place. What that means is that the bar for sending emails is going to be risen and thus potentially going to really impact your email deliverability. What do these changes really mean? How are they going to impact your email campaigns? And most importantly, what do you need to do in order to stay on the right side of this new email law? There are a lot of questions, but don't worry. We're here to simplify this process as much as possible and help guide you every step of the way. So let's get into it. So the first most important question, what is actually changing? Both Gmail and Yahoo are focused on four major areas which are designed to help reduce the amount of spam that's hitting their customers' inbox. Those being, Using your own custom domain, so that means not just a free at gmail.com or at yahoo.com address. Authenticating emails correctly, keeping spam complaints below 0.3%, and ensuring an easy one-click unsubscribe process. Something that's important to note is that all of these changes have long been best practice for email deliverability. The difference now is that they're becoming an actual requirement. So if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you might already know these tips and have even implemented them already. In which case, good job. But why not watch the video just to be safe in any case? And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then what are you waiting for? Hit that big red subscribe button now. To the next question, who is actually impacted by these changes? Google clearly specifies this as those who send more than 5,000 emails per day to their Gmail contacts. Yahoo, however, have not clearly specified the definition. So if you match this description, then these rules especially apply to you. But even if you're sending fewer, then I'd really recommend still following these new guidelines because your email deliverability is only gonna benefit from that. So to help you better understand these changes, let's now go through them one by one. First up, start sending emails with your own custom domain. Very quickly, let's first be 100% sure on exactly what we mean when we say our own custom domain. Simply put, it's basically a domain that you or your business owns. That's opposed to using a at gmail.com or at yahoo.com email address. Important to note is that using free domains has actually never been good email marketing practice. Not only does this negatively affect your recipient's experience with your brand, but it also really increases the chance that your email's either gonna get rejected altogether or land in that dreaded spam folder. So. If you don't already own your own custom domain, then now is absolutely the time to get one. And guess what? Setting this up is both easier and cheaper than you might think. Being the email marketing experts that we are, we have created a detailed guide on how custom domains for email marketing works. If you're interested, then the link is in our description. But if you wanna get straight to business and set one up right away, then I recommend doing that directly through GetResponse. This will help save you time because we're going to look after all of the email authentication automatically. So in other words, all the techie stuff, don't worry, we've got you. And if you're interested in that, then watch this video. Next up, authenticate your emails with SPF, DKIM and DMARC. This is a way to prove that your emails are indeed coming from your business. And I know, SPF, DKIM, DMARC, it kind of sounds like alphabet soup. But these are simply tools that are going to help keep your emails trustworthy and safe. In other words, they help prevent spam, phishing attempts, and other such nasty malicious activities that could negatively impact your brand's reputation, as well as the trust that your recipients have in your emails. And again, if you're feeling like you wanna to go to the next step with your education on this, then we've created another separate guide on all of these terms, SPF, DKAM, DMARC. It's all there for you in the description box below. But if you're worried that this step is a little bit too technical for you, then no worries, you can buy your domain directly through GetResponse. And as mentioned before, we will automatically authenticate your email domain and make sure that your email campaigns are secure. Plus, if you sign up for an annual or biannual plan, then you're gonna get access to your custom domain for free for a year. Best practice number three, keep spam complaints below 0.3%. Now again, this is something that is and always has been best practice, but it is now more important than ever to be on top of. Basically, send emails to those people who actually want to receive them. It really is a old as time. But it's the foundation of best practices. High spam complaints are a direct signal that something could well be off, and it's a signal that you need to pay attention to. This could be a faulty subscription process, which means that the wrong people are actually joining your list, 
Maybe your subscribers just aren't enjoying the content that they're getting from you. Or maybe they just haven't heard from you in a while, which means that they no longer recognize who you are. Whatever the case, you need to pay high attention to your spam complaints and make sure that you are minimizing the chance of getting them. You can do that from your email marketing platform's reporting dashboard. When monitoring your spam complaints, it's also worth looking at your unsubscribe reports. There, you'll be able to identify the reasons why people opt out of your mailing lists. Leaving spam complaint monitoring aside for a moment, what can you be doing to ensure that they don't hit these high levels in the first place? Well, you guessed it. For that, we've got a video too. You can watch it here. And finally, to the last step, make it easy to unsubscribe. Some marketers like to hide away their unsubscribe button far away from their email's content. Others change the hyperlink text, color, and size to make it hard to find. And some will even ask you to log into the app to process your unsubscribe request. Annoying, isn't it? All of these approaches are missing the crucial point that actually keeping your subscribers subscribed when they don't want to be is not a good thing. Not only will this negatively impact your brand reputation, but it will also cause deliverability issues and cause high spam complaints. And it will also annoy Gmail and Yahoo users. And that's why now these providers, that's Gmail and Yahoo, make it essential to have a one-click unsubscribe option. And if you're already using GetResponse, then the good news is that this one-step unsubscribe option is automatically turned on for all outgoing emails. And the same goes for unsubscribe requests. We take care of that all for you as well. However, if you're using your own mailing infrastructure or using a different email service provider, then you're gonna wanna make sure that all of these tools are working in sync. And that's it. We've made it through all of the upcoming email updates for Gmail and Yahoo. And as you can see, and as I have been saying throughout the video, all of these things were already best practice, but the key difference is to say it again, that they are now becoming an essential requirement. I know that it might seem like a lot, but don't forget that we've got a ton of resources all down in that description box below, and that we're here to help you throughout the whole process. An important final point I'd like to make is that it doesn't matter whether you're using GetResponse or not. The most important part of this video is that you are following these new instructions for email marketing. The success of your campaigns really does depend on it. Got any questions, doubts, or need a hand? Then be sure to drop us a line, either drop us a comment below the video. We're always happy to receive those and do our best to respond to them, or be sure to reach out to our customer success team who is available to you 24 seven. And if you wanna stay on top of all of the latest when it comes to changes with email marketing and you want best tips and practices and all of that good stuff, then you know what to do, which is to subscribe to this amazing email marketing channel. And with that, I wish you happy marketing.